Alright guys and gals, this is it, finally. It's t I know it's been a while, Halloween 2018 movie review. I just needed one thing, or actually one person, and I'd like to bring them out right now. Hey Ralph, how you doing? <laughs> I'm alright. This is, <laughs> this is, if you guys remember, this is Vic, and this is Ralph. <laughs> and this is horror. Horror and coffee. Horror and coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna obviously review Halloween 2018. Right. It just came out. Okay, what I thought about the movie, I thought it was good. Um, it just felt like a, a rehash of part one. And um, uh, that's how I feel about it. I just, uh, when I, from seeing it from beginning to end, I saw a lot of, uh, hey, that's from part one, and that's from part two, and that's from part one, and that one's from part two. And I guess because I seen part one and part two. Now, if you were a person that didn't see those movies and you saw this, uh, fresh, then you probably would uh, say, wow, this is a great uh, film. I guess that's what the intentions were of the filmmakers, for this, for, for them to show it to a new generation of people. Um, for us, the people who we already saw it, we already seen the little uh, uh, homages to part one and part two. There were a lot of them. Huh? There was How a lot of them. <laughs> even, even, I can count them. Even Halloween 3, even Season Halloween. of the Witch. Yeah. And you see it in the previews. We're not giving anything away here. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the kids running around with the silver shimmer. That's right. I saw. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Actually. Yeah. So that was pretty cool, and I really dig that. I really dig that. They showed a lot of stuff. That it was like just a little, uh, like I said, homage to the first three films. That's right. And uh, that was great. And just to have Nick Castle back, Jamie Lee Curtis back, that was great. There's a couple of things I don't like about the movie, and I can name them. Okay. Um, so how long has it been since the, uh, the the last event? So she supposedly meets Michael Myers. Since part two doesn't have nothing to do with it. Right. Um, uh, 1978. Technically, this is Halloween 2, if you right. think about it. Okay. Right. See, that's what's confusing about this movie. For a lot of uh, people who already seen all the Halloween trilogies, mm -hmm. this technically has to be part two, and they're eliminating part, part two. Part two. Which... In my estimation, is still a good damn movie, yeah. and I'm not eliminated. It. I'm not eliminating it from the whole series. There's I no agree. way I'm going to do that. I agree. So, Ralph, what do you think of Halloween? Halloween 2018, I thought it was pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I liked it. I liked the different homages to it, um, if that's how you say it. And you know, I walked in there kind of already getting an idea of what it was because the the previews pretty much revealed the whole point. Which was the whole this this whole idea of Laurie Strode still dealing with some kind of post traumatic stress regarding the events of 1978. She obviously had a family. She has a daughter. She has a, uh, a granddaughter who goes to high school, and it's that time again, and it's and it's Halloween. What bugged me out was actually the two reporters that went to visit Michael Myers at the Yeah, I was sanitary. wondering why they, the the people at the the hospital or whatever the institution allowed them to do that. That you wouldn't know, be. That's what. That's okay. That's one of the negative things I want. I want to talk about mm -hmm. is that um, no doctor would actually allow a person to to rile up a, an inmate like that. <laughs> it wasn't realistic. It, but then later on in the film, we see this doctor go a little main, uh, a little, go, go a little crazy. Yeah, I was I like, didn't what, understand. Well, why they did that? <laughs> that didn't belong in the film. <laughs> that was like watching Rob Zombie's Halloween Two and. Remember when uh, yeah, yeah. she puts the mask on? <laughs> yes, yes. I, that that okay. Now that's an homage to Rob Zombie's Halloween too, <laughs> because that was not an homage to any of the John Carpenter films. <laughs> it wasn't. That uh, if they would cut that problem. scene, they would have cut that scene and not have that part in the movie. It would have mm -hmm. been great. That doctor, who was supposedly a student of Doctor Loomis, right. that's what he claimed to be. He right. thought at first we thought he was there to help get Michael Myers back because apparently, you know, the bus crashed. And, and we again, we see this in the trailer. Right. What we didn't see was what this doctor's real intentions were in the film. And as a result, we were all kind of thrown back at that twist. That I, didn't, plot I, twist. I didn't like that twist. It wasn't a good one. I didn't like that twist. It, it made me go, wait a minute, what? You know? So now I even started thinking back about, well, did he cause the crash so that he could escape? Is, has it gone that far now? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Neither did he. So, and a lot of people didn't. So, so the issue with that movie was that even though I liked the story, it was a strong plot line, right? And I thought Jamie Lee Curtis did a superb job. 
And I thought it was great seeing Nick Castle again don the shape mask. Right. And, you know, do his talking. I thought the killing spree was pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. It kind of returned. It went back. It, it kind of harkened back to the enigma that Michael Myers was originally in the first film, which was initially Halloween was eventually was initially going to be called the Babysitter Murders. But right. then they changed it to Halloween. Yeah. But the idea was that there was just this crazed killer with a mask on Halloween night killing people at random. Remember, it wasn't until Halloween 2 where this whole thing about Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, you know, Laurie Strode being Michael Myers' sister was first introduced into the plot line, into the canon of Halloween. That wasn't even a thought in the first film at all. So as a result... You know, they kind of went with that. And that's how they kind of pretty much milked the franchise. All these other movies later. With this film, it took that away again. All right? She's not Michael Myers' sister. Right? And it, Yeah, I, I didn't like that. And I know you didn't like that either. But, but I think what they wanted to do was... They just didn't want to confuse a lot of people. No, I think what they wanted to do, Vic, was that they wanted to kind of like bring... Strip it back down to what Michael Myers just was, which was a mindless killer. And you saw it in the film. When he showed up at Haddonfield, he he was just randomly killing people. He went in there and killed the woman with the hammer. He went in there and killed the woman with the knife. Right, right. Left the baby alone, you know. that. And, and, you know, I was like, holy snap. You know, he killed the kid. He killed a kid. He killed a kid. I never saw that before. You know, the one in the car. With the dad when the bus crashed? Right, yeah. I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> you know, I didn't see that coming. We don't need to know why he kills. The fact that we don't know should be more horrifying and what adds to the horror of a movie like Halloween, like it did back in 1978. And I think that's what they were trying to recapture, Vic. I think they were trying to capture that whole kind of aura about it. Yeah, I, I got I got the sense of that, but still, I, I don't know. I just... Well, because it's nostalgia. What do you mean? A, it comes from a place of nostalgia for both of us, if you think about it. I mean, we love Halloween too. Right. The whole thing about Jamie Lee Curtis being Michael Myers' sister made sense. Mm -hmm. It worked. Right. So it was kind of like, oh, stop. Well, I'm not saying the, the movie's not bad. No. Yeah. What I liked about it was also the fact that John Carpenter had a say. Right? He was the executive producer of the film. Uh, he's only out for the paycheck. Ah, no! <laughs> Look, I've, I've, I've saw a lot of reviews, a lot of reviews, uh, interviews with him, and he only wants the money. He's like, really? Uh, John Carpenter has gotten now miserable, an old miserable person, and um, he's really? just, yeah, he's only out for the buck. He's only out for, he even says it bluntly, I'm only here for the paycheck. You know, and it's just, I mean, I don't know, I don't know if it's the age that when people turn older, he turned more uh, meaner or grouchier or, or mm. grumpier. John Carpenter is all of those. And he came to this film with the intention of a paycheck. No, but um, you know what? I get what you're saying, but he made the music too. Yeah, but even though... It was music, a good soundtrack. It was good, but it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Halloween 3 was a great soundtrack. Yes, it was. Hall Hall yes, it was. The Fog was a great soundtrack. Yes. This was not. It was just timid. It wasn't... It wasn't I bought I the soundtrack. Oh, well. But, you know, it just... It, I was listening to it on Halloween. On yeah, the train. Yeah. I don't and, you know, maybe how it ended. I don't know how you felt about that. Um, It wasn't a bad ending. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was an okay ending. It wasn't something to be marveled at. Right. I, I don't know. I think the ending of Halloween 2 was much more better. Yes. I agree. I like that ending better. I agree. You see, Halloween 2... The reason why we love Halloween 2 is so, it's so tied in to the first film. Yeah. And, you know, the events happened the same night. Yeah. And I, and I did a video on that, actually. Right, right. If you, I could put the link below. But that's a whole other story. That's a whole other story. All right, Vic. How many coffee cups do you give? How many Halloween? coffee cups do I give Halloween? 2018. 2018. Mm -hmm. Not a bad film. Not a bad film. I would give it three coffee cups. Okay. It won't get four because four is just... Too good. Too good. Too good a brew. Too good. And you can't top the first one. I went into this film watching it, Ralph, not thinking it would be better than the first. People just were, were really uh, um, hyping it up. Yeah. And when you hype a movie up and you're expecting... You got to be careful. Stuff, you got to be careful. You may go on... Uh, and a lot of my friends went in there disappointed. Mm -hmm. I went with no expectations at all and I enjoyed it. 
I kind of went in there with a blank slate as well. I didn't want to like expect anything. I didn't. I feared it would be horrible, but I was pleasantly surprised. And I give, just like Vic, I give Halloween 2018 three coffee cups. Good brew. It, it tasted great, and I enjoyed again the whole idea of their attempt to try to bring back the enigma of Michael Myers of the unknown, right. of what you don't know. It's kind of what Dr. Loomis said in Halloween too. That Halloween is not about ghosts and witches. It's the unconscious mind. We're all afraid of the dark inside ourselves. And that movie pretty much brought that out mm, onto yeah. the screen. I also liked the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis was like uh, tough. In the she was. She was. It was different. She, I mean, it really was. You know what I liked about the film? I'm sorry we're bringing this up late. Um, but I liked the part where the girl, or her granddaughter, is running around screaming, help me, help me. That was like from part one. Right. You know what else was from part right. one? When the when the granddaughter was in the classroom and she looked out the window. And it's Jamie Lee Curtis. That looking one, out. yeah. yeah. And, and the other part was when Jamie Lee Curtis was fighting Michael Myers and he fell off the balcony of the house. Yeah. And then... When uh, she fell off and right. she hit the ground, she was she and looked like she, she disappeared. Was, uh, when then she on. disappeared. I was like, "Oh, come on!" Well, what about the other part where um, there's these two people talking by the gas station, and Michael Myers' car comes from behind? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm telling you, there's a lot of callbacks mm -hmm. in this that 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 I appreciate personally. So you know, but okay. So you got our review. Here's our review. This is what we've been waiting for. And I know we're in November. Who cares? This will be on YouTube forever, so it doesn't matter. What are your thoughts about Halloween 2018? Talk to us. That's right. And then uh, put your comments below. Share with us. Please consider subscribing. Tap on the bell so that you can get notifications in the future about incoming R and coffee and strange. No, I don't know when I'll be back, but I'll be. You just interrupted I'll me. I'll try to be it. back soon. But 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 Vic is around, so so ab absolutely he'll be he'll be around. I'll be coming back. He'll be coming back out now and then. You know it'll be good. So this is Ralph Perez. This is Vic from Horror and Coffee, Strange Planet NYC. Take care.